In tonight's Health Watch, researchers in California claim to have possibly discovered the fountain of youth, or at least a way to turn back the clock a few years. It's a cocktail of three readily available drugs, but CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has a few things that you need to know before you sign up. That's right, and first to know is all drugs have some side effects, mm -hmm. right? Now, this was a very small study of just nine older white men that compared their biological age to their calendar age. After taking the drug cocktail, their biological markers of aging actually reversed and got younger by an average of two and a half years. I feel tremendous. It's the never-ending search for the fountain of youth, turned into the hit movie Cocoon by Ron Howard, where senior citizens get younger by bathing in a pool filled with extraterrestrial alien pods. But the reality is we haven't found the secret to anti-aging, although we do know that it has to do with our DNA and our cells. Over time, the programming language in our cells, the DNA, it becomes corrupted. And the, that corruption is just like how the software on your computer gets damaged. When that happens, your computer slows down. The same thing happens in our cells. Dr. Robert Hariri is a renowned scientist whose research is focused on understanding how and why we age, and then how to counter the aging process. The latest study in the journal Aging Cell used a pharmaceutical approach to anti-aging to correct the aging DNA code in our cells. This approach is to find a drug method to change or improve that, that programming, eliminate the corruption so that our cells are doing their job. The study researchers started with growth hormone, but that's known to have a number of serious adverse effects in addition to its anti-aging effects. So they added metformin and DHEA to counter those adverse effects. That led to a two and a half year reversal or improvement in a number of biological markers of aging. In effect, making their cells biologically younger than their calendar age. Trouble is, we don't know the side effects of long-term use of those drugs. Dr. Hariri thinks a better and safer approach is to use stem cells, and his company, Cellularity, is commercializing an abundant source of those cells from human placentas. Now, the beauty of placenta stem cells, in addition to their abundance, is that they're one size fits all, meaning they don't have the cellular markers that alert the immune system and ultimately lead to rejection. Now, the drug cocktail approach will require much more research to see if it really does lead to more youthful cells. And sadly, none of these things are really available. They're not ready for prime time yet. Well, you've got us all excited. Well, I, I know, but, you know, I, we, we, we're looking ahead to ah. something that might hopefully be there for us. In the Foreshadowing. Future. Foreshadowing, yeah. yes. Well, thanks for the heads up, Dr. Max. <laughs> That's right. I'm trying. No head fake here. <laughs> Thank trying. you. Uh,